So hi everyone, I am Dr. Greta Bernier, a colon and rectal surgeon at Valley Medical Center. I'm very happy to virtually be here with you today. Um, and I um, uh, wanna say thank you to Dr. Baceros and the rest of the Swedish CME team for having me. I appreciate this opportunity. I do not have any disclosures to make today. So I have been tasked with talking to you about anal and rectal pain. And, um, you know, again, as a colorectal surgeon, I don't necessarily have patients coming in and saying, hey, I have a pain in my butt, although sometimes they do. More commonly, though, what I hear is people saying I have hemorrhoids. And for whatever reason, that is just my, my clinic all day long. That's what it will say, hemorrhoids, hemorrhoids. So it's up to me to figure out what's going on and what they really mean when they say that. So they may say, I have hemorrhoids. I just can't stand it anymore. They are getting worse. They hurt. I need surgery. Sometimes they say that really definitively. And my doctor said I should see a specialist. So tell me about it. Again, it's my job to figure out what they really mean. What is your pain like? Is it sharp? Is it burning? Is it itchy? Is it achy? Is it pressure? How would you describe your pain? Where do you feel it? Do you feel it right at your anal opening? Is it further inside in the rectum? Is it in the vagina? Is it um, in the skin surrounding the area? Where do you feel this pain? And when does it happen? Does it happen after bowel movements? That's pretty common. Is it there all the time? Um, does what makes it better? What makes it worse? You know, all those questions we're, we're used to asking. Is there any bleeding associated with it? If so, what does that bleeding look like? Is it a lot? Is it a little on the toilet tissue, on the stool, in the water, mixed in with the stool? Do you feel any external tissue? Do you feel any bulges? Do you feel tissue on the outside? Is it there all the time or is it something that you know, comes out and goes back in. And is there any other straining difficulty with evacuation? Any other problems with having bowel movements that you're having associated with this, this pain and this hem hemorrhoid that you have? So then I get to take all that information together and decide what does this person have? Do you have a hemorrhoid? So my understanding of that and deciding what they have always starts with anatomy first. So just to backtrack a little bit, this is a picture of the anal canal. It has um, two different sphincter complex, um, the internal and the external. The internal, just a continuation of the muscle of the rectum, and the external, then a continuation of the muscles of the pelvic floor. And we have hemorrhoidal tissue on the inside and on the outside, and it's separated by this dentate line. The dentate line is that transition zone of the anal canal. Anal canal overall is about three to five centimeters, depending on your anatomy, um, male versus female. And above that, that line, patients have mucosa, or we all have mucosa as the upper half of the anal canal. Mucosa, I tell patients, is like the inside of the mouth. So smooth, moist, makes mucus. And important and pertinent to this discussion, no real sharp nerve endings, some important functional nerves there, but no sharp nerve receptors there. And then below that dentate line is anoderm. So it's skin, uh, squamous cell skin, but really highly specialized skin, similar to the skin of the lips, I tell patients. Um, so lots and lots of nerve endings, lots of, of uh, ability to have discomfort there. And then again, that internal hemorrhoidal tissue versus the external hemorrhoidal tissue is separated by that line. So hemorrhoids or hemorrhoidal tissue, we'll go back one, are just blood vessels that live underneath the surface of the lining of the anal canal that are there to add cushion or bulk to the anal canal so that bowel movements can move through smoothly and again in a cushioned fashion. Because they are blood vessels, anything that causes increased pressure um, can cause them to enlarge or engorge. Most commonly people think about constipation or pregnancy, both of those increase pressure, but really anything that can increase pressure of the anal canal can cause them to enlarge. So people that have desk jobs or sitting for long periods of time, men that have enlarged prostates and are having to push in order to urinate, um, all, truck drivers, we see that a lot. Um, anything like that can cause this increased pressure. And then we get what we consider to be hemorrhoids. So these enlarged and gorged, um, blood hey guys, thanks for watching. To continue, please log in or create an account for free. Thank you for your support.